Today we're going to cover how to calculate the cost of equity of a stock using the Fama French model in Excel. I'm not going to actually cover the theory behind the Fama French model. This is covered extensively in numerous finance textbooks, but usually they will not cover how to actually calculate the cost of equity. So that's what we're going to cover today. So to get started, go to Yahoo's website and then click on the finance tab and it is going to ask for the company or stock symbol. We're going to use Google and type in Google stock symbol, which is G-O-O-G, -O -O and then hit search. Once this loads, you'll find a lot of useful information about a stock, it has summary data, financial ratios, access to the 10K and 10Q reports, but what we want is the historical data. So go ahead and click on the tab here that says historical data. And we're going to change a couple of the parameters. I'm going to change the time period and the frequency. We're going to use a five year time period and a monthly frequency. So go ahead and change that right here. Click done. And then change the frequency right here. And then hit apply. And it's going to repopulate the data. Once it is finished loading, we can download it into a CSV file. Let's go ahead and click download data. And then go ahead and open the CSV file. If it is not display correctly, if you see these little pound symbols right here, the column is just not wide enough, so hover your cursor over the right side of the A column and double click and that will widen it out. Next we need the Fama French data. So go back to internet, open a new tab, and type in Fama French data. And the first website that should pop up should be Kenneth R. French's data library. Let's go ahead and click on it. And we're actually going to use the first piece of data right here where it says Fama French three factors and click on CSV. This is the monthly data. They also have weekly and daily. Now I downloaded a zip file. I'm going to go into the download folder. I'm actually going to move it to a different folder. You don't have to do that. And now I'm going to unzip it. I'm going to use 7-zip. There are other options out there though, so click on the zipped file and hit extract and then hit OK. And it opened a new folder and our file is unzipped. So we're going to scroll down until we get to the start of our data, which is February of 2012. So keep scrolling till you get there. And you can see that is right here, 2012-02. Down to December 2016. So hit Control C, Season Charlie. Open a new sheet. And hit Control V as in Victor to paste it. And one thing we need to do is we need to flip this data around. 2012 is on top. We need 2016 to be on top. So click in the A column right here. Make sure you're on the Home tab, and then click on Sort and Filter, and then choose Sort Largest to Smallest. Keep Expand the Selection checked, and then hit Sort. You can see that all of our data has been flipped. We do need to modify this data though right here because this is in percentage form. We need it in decimal form. So just come off to the right here, have an equals, Click on the cell and then type divided by 100 and then drag that over three more times. So we have all four columns accounted for and double click. So now we have data that's in decimal form. We're going to go ahead and hard code it so that it is not dependent on the original cells. We're going to get rid of the formula. So type control C again and then right click. Select Paste Special, and then Values, and then hit OK. And then delete these four columns of data. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and insert a row. We're going to pick the headers back up for the original sheet and type control home. Grab these four headers right here and then paste them back in. And then we're going to copy this data. Control C and then once again, control V. We don't need these first two time periods, just delete them. And then we'll put the headers on the same row to keep it clean. Okay, now we have the data for our stock and we have the Fama French data. We can go ahead and calculate the cost of equity. So the first thing we need to know is the monthly return. So monthly return. And that is simply going to be equals. We're going to use if error, and that way if there are any errors in the equation, it'll still work and won't mess up our formulas. So click on this month's adjusted close price divided by last month's adjusted close price minus one comma. We're going to do double quotations. So hold on the shift, quote, quote, and close parentheses. And that quote means it's going to return a blank if there's an error with the calculation. Hit enter, and then just copy this data down by double clicking. Now we need to know the excess monthly return. And once again, we're going to use the if error equation. So equals if error, open parentheses, select the monthly return minus the risk free rate, comma, and then once again, the double quotes and close parentheses. And once again, go ahead and copy it down. Just get the cursor to turn into a little plus sign and double click. Okay, so now there's actually two ways to calculate Fama French in Excel. One is using the regression analysis and the other one we can actually use a formula which is a little more dynamic and it kind of shows you how Excel works. But I'll show you both methods. So the first process is to do the regression analysis. So come to your data tab right here and if you have data analysis already open, click on that. If you don't have it, I'll show you how to open it now. Click on File, go down to Options, come here to Add-ins, and then it's going to be under Inactive Application Add-ins for you if you don't have anything displaying here. Mine is under Active but click on analysis tool pack and then click go and then check where it says analysis tool pack and then hit okay and now your data analysis should be displaying go ahead and click on it and once it opens we're going to select regression so scroll down to regression and then hit okay under input Y range, we're going to select our excess monthly returns. And that is rows three to 60, which you can see right here. And then hit the arrow. And then for the input X range, we're gonna use the Fama French three factors once again, from rows three to 60. And then we're just going to hit okay. It's going to open a new sheet. We can double click on the A and B columns to expand them out a little bit. And you'll see three X variables. You have X variable one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and highlight those. Okay, this is the actual factor for each piece of the Palmer French data. So for the three factors, this is each factor. I'll now show you how to manually calculate it. So let's go ahead and copy these headers over. Okay, and this formula is a little bit crazy, so just follow me here. So type equals index, and index is a formula that will return a specified value if you tell Excel where to look. 
type in line st this does the best fit line using the least squares method and then open parentheses it says what are your known y's well that is the excess monthly return and we know that's from rows 3 to 60 comma it asks for our known x's this is the three factors using palm of french also from rows 3 to 60 and then we're actually going to type two commas comma comma the number one a closed parentheses a comma the number one a comma the number three and a closed parentheses i know this is a little crazy so let's cover this again it's equals index open parentheses line st open parentheses are excess monthly returns comma our Fama French three factor data, two commas, the number one, a closed parentheses, comma, one, comma, three, and then a closed parentheses, and then hit enter. I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. You see our equation right here. And you see it returned a value of 1.05 four five four which matches what our regression analysis has here 1.05454 okay and now we're going to calculate the other two variables we can go ahead and just copy this original formula and then when you paste it just change this last three to a two and then paste it one more time and change that three to a one and now we can see the three factors do match. We also need to calculate the average of these factors. So equals average. And then from rows three to 60 again. Okay, and now we have everything we need to calculate the cost of equity. So type in equals, open parentheses, Select the risk-free rate, which is almost zero, and then plus, and then click on the first Fama French factor here, multiplied by the average, and then plus again, the second Fama French factor multiplied by the average, and then plus one more time, the third Fama French factor multiplied by the average, close parentheses, and then we're gonna multiply by 12 because this will give us the monthly cost of equity, we want it in annual terms, and then hit enter. And then if you want, you can change it to percentage, so it's a little easier to see. Okay, so now we see that the cost of equity for Google from December of 2016 to February of 2012 is 10.73%. I know I covered a lot in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a lot more like this. Thank you.